welcome guys welcome to metan today we are going to discuss about the structures forming the posterior of stomach which is nothing but as stomach bed firstly i will begin with drawing the stomach this is the stomach and now we will draw every organ that are forming the uh, stomach bed i will begin with the post uh, transverse mesocolon somewhere here will lie the transverse mesocolon and spleen will also form the stomach bed spleen will lie somewhere over here the next organ will be kidney and suprarenal gland kidney will lie over here and suprarenal gland here and then diaphragm will also form part of the stomach bed diaphragm will lie over here and the uh, artery supplying to the spleen which is nothing but a splenic artery will also form the stomach bed so what are the things that are forming the stomach bed it's very very simple transverse mesocolon kidney suprarenal gland diaphragm spleen splenic artery splenic artery and the colic fracture splenic fracture these are the things that are forming the stomach bed i'll write over here what are the uh, number 1 diaphragm the second thing is the spleen, spleen and splenic artery and also splenic flexure the next thing third one is the diaphragm spleen splenic artery splenic flexure coming to kidney and suprarenal gland suprarenal gland and the fourth one is the transverse mesocolon transverse mesocolon so these are the organs that are forming the stomach bed now we are going to discuss about the interior of the stomach so mainly interior of the stomach we will find three things one is the gastric folds gastric folds second one is the gastric pits third thing is the gastric canal gastric canal now i'm drawing the stomach to show you all these things this is the stomach first thing is the gastric folds right gastric fold is formed by the mucosa of the stomach gastric folds are formed by the mucosa of the stomach they are irregular folds they are like somewhere like this longitudinal folds along the stomach these are the gastric folds formed by the mucosa of the stomach and they lie longitudinally along the lesser curvature like this this is nothing but as the gastric canal or mesenteritis we call it mesenteritis generally if you swallow quick foods or liquids the liquid will tend to come and lie along the gastric canal on the lesser curvature of the stomach so this lesser curvature of the stomach is more prone to ulceration coming to gastric pits gastric pits are nothing but deep pits inside the stomach where gastric glands are situated they release their gastric secretion in the gastric pits and gastric folds are formed by the mucosa of the stomach and these gastric folds are also called as rugae rugae gastric rugae and upon full distension of the stomach you cannot find the gastric folds and when it is empty gastric folds are more uh, uh, more absorbing so this is about the interior of the stomach consisting of gastric folds gastric pits and gastric canal thank you guys this is all for today if you de definitely like the video please make sure to subscribe comment and like and uh, the upcoming video i'll be discussing about the clinical anatomy of the stomach thank you